Welcome yeah. back. Welcome back, John. Uh, dear friend of the show, Whoopi Goldberg, is oh, going to yes. be here in just a moment. Woo! Always a delight. Woo. And I've wanted to talk to this guy for a while, Congressman Ro Khanna, who from Silicon Valley. That's basically mm -hmm. what he represents out there. He's got a new yeah. book called Dignity in the Digital Age. Yes, yes. I'm just curious. Are you worried about private, your privacy at all? You know, the cat is out of the bag. It's, our information is out there. Right. I don't know what's left. I got, I the, I got Alexa and the Siri in my house. I got both of those things. And I believe they're all spying on us. How could they not be? They wouldn't hear us say, hey, Siri, or, or Alexa. Yeah. And now people's Alexas are waking up all over the United States. <laughs> you say that. Right now, right now. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it's, it, even when you look on your phone, after you've had a conversation, yep. you'll see things that pop up that were a part of your conversation. Yeah, and they'll go, hey, would you like to go buy that thing you were talking about? And I was like, how you know that I was talking about that? And Siri goes, I don't know what you're talking about, John. <laughs> <laughs> Here's some names of some therapists. That's right, yeah. It just lays it out so... Never know, never know. Folks, you know, I spent a lot of time right over there, carefully planting and tending to the day's biggest, most important stories, trimming the topical hedges with delicate exactitude, researching and seeding the soil of today's news in order to yield the most beautiful, fragrant joke flowers, and precisely timing the blooming, the exquisite English garden that is my nightly monologue, but sometimes, just sometimes, folks. I drive a 2003 Pontiac Sunfire through a Home Depot garden center, down a jug of miracle Grow, smear my body in mud and pea gravel, build a fort out of pavers, plop a succulent dish garden on my head, and barricade myself inside a portable tool shed to create the paranoid backyard standoff of news that is my segment. Meanwhile, <laughs> last night was rough for JetBlue passengers at JFK as the airline is still catching up from the weekend storm. Apparently, so many JetBlue passengers were stuck on planes for so long, it caused some people to allegedly urinate in their seats and suffer panic attacks. So, a regular flight on Spirit. <laughs> that joke's based on a true story. That joke's based on a true story. Meanwhile, in South Dakota, a police officer completed a DoorDash order after arresting the delivery driver. <laughs> the DoorDash driver had an outstanding warrant, so the customer answered the door to find Sioux Falls officer Sam Burr with her food. No, I'm not who you're expecting, um, but Hi. the driver got arrested for <laughs> sanitary care. So I figured I'd complete the DoorDash for <laughs> Now. Thank you, officer. Protect and yeah. serve. Come on. Come on. Now, we don't know exactly what the driver did, but it must have been pretty serious because while waiting, the app tracker said your jalapeno bacon chicka wrap will arrive in 15 to 20 years. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, in drug-related news, marijuana use may cause cognitive impairment even when not still high. Researchers found that many of the learning and memory problems caused by cannabis consumption can linger for weeks. But don't worry about that if you're high right now, because you won't remember it. <laughs> Meanwhile, if you're worried you are beginning to understand too much about the world, good news. There's a plan to put Bitcoin in mouse DNA with a genetically engineered virus. Okay, here's the plan. As you may know, a Bitcoin wallet can only be accessed using its private key. So, they will buy some Bitcoin, then tie the mouse's value to that Bitcoin by editing the mouse's genetic code to carry the private key that controls the Bitcoins. This manipulation will result in genetically engineering the world's first douche mouse. <laughs> you know, long walk. Uh, long walk for a little mouse. It's okay. Uh, little cheese. Little cheese. Through the maze. Through the maze. <laughs> Meanwhile, in Iceland, years after every McDonald's in the country shut down in 2009, their last Big Mac is being preserved as a historical <laughs> artifact. Just look at that thing. That's from 2009. You gotta question your food choice when you can look at it 13 years later and say, you're just as beautiful as the day I met you. 
Apparently, this historic burger was purchased by an Icelander named Jorster Samarsson one day before the locations closed. Then, three years later, Samarsson found in his garage a pair of old mice-chewed roller blades, tools, boxes, and an untouched bag of food <laughs> from McDonald's. So to recap, Mice found a bag of McDonald's and said, you know what, I'd rather eat the rollerblades. <laughs> Though, it does. Mm. Deep-fried rollerblade? Mm. Uh, uh. It does explain why Mickey D's changed their slogan from, I'm loving it, to recognized as food by at least one species. <laughs> we'll be right back with Whoopi Goldberg. <laughs>